there's something particularly interesting about the tortoise and the hare. This is the 1935 short animated film from Disney as part of their Silly Symphony series, based of course on Aesop's fable by the same name. And I'm currently trying to watch every single Academy Award Best Animated Short nominee. And this is the first year where there was only one Disney nomination. Granted, this is only the third year that the award existed. But The Tortoise and the Hare is the only nominee from Disney. And actually, it was the winner. The other two was Holidayland, uh, which is from um, Screen Gems. And also Jolly Little Elves, which is a Walter Lance short from Universal. I have watched all three. I will review the other two separately. But this one, I really enjoyed. And I can kind of see why it won. And I really liked it. You know, it's a brilliant achievement in animation. It captures the pace of the fast rabbit very well in contrast to really effectively with the pace of the tortoise. I feel like the tortoise was going a little bit too quickly at times. I think they could have slowed that animation down quite a bit but I think it delivered the subject you know really effectively if you are for whatever reason unaware of the story of the tortoise and the hare they are having a race you'd think that the hare is going to win because tortoises are notoriously very slow but the hare shows off and takes a nap and it's very cocky and full of himself and ultimately the better person wins, not necessarily the fastest. I like this a lot. Um, the hair showing off is something that's quite interesting because he shows off to this group of small bunnies and they are so cute. And I love the animation style of those little bunnies. They're very sweet. And the music in this is pretty good as well. The thing with Silly Symphony shorts is that they usually have a brilliant soundtrack or some great music to go along with the fun and often obviously silly animation and that's certainly the case here uh, music is by Daryl Cocker and Frank Churchill Pinto Kolvig voices our starter which uh, you know, Pinto Kolvig is one of my um, favorite Disney voiceover artists um, he is most known for Goofy and Pluto but it's nice that he gets to voice some silly symphonies that come before that it's a lot of fun I can completely see why why it won for me personally i think jolly little elves should have won because it was a lot sweeter and a lot more moving but maybe in terms of technical achievement this one was a little bit more successful i thoroughly enjoyed it if you're a fan of the story of the tortoise and the hare obviously definitely check it out it's not my favorite silly symphony and i think that's mainly because it's not unique there are other Silly Symphony shorts based on stories, nursery rhymes, fables, etc. But my favourite Disney Silly Symphonies are those that at least appear to be original tales. Although having said that, I do really like The Ugly Duckling. That one is a really good short. It's a lot of fun. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Definitely a pretty worthy winner.